And the American rapper Ryan Fest tried to change David Cameron's views on hip hop culture when they met at the House of Commons this morning. The musician wrote to the Conservative leader after hearing that he'd accused the radio station of playing music that encourages people to carry guns and knives. Mr Cameron had also raised his concerns at the party conference in Bournemouth earlier this month. We need parents to bring up children with the right values. We need our schools to be places of discipline and order. We need the music industry to understand that profiting from violent and homophobic lyrics isn't just morally wrong, it's socially unacceptable. Rap is not the problem. If anything, you know, it's an outlet for young people to express their feelings without going out and expressing it on somebody else. So, I think that's the problem. Pour me a drink. Big fur jacket, that's the thoughts of a pimp. I used to be for a long time now, rap has been to blame for all the problems on our streets and the young people. For example, Giggs. He's an underground UK rapper and he's been banned from playing in London. We decided to visit his people. I like it, and I know you don't like it. So, I want to know who said that, dog. Right now, we're in Ryan Lane Market. About to go inside Ryan Lane Market Indoor Centre, where the SO1 wear shop will be. Who said that? One strap fired off, two head back. My crew did that bullshit talk, bitch niggas get lead slap. slap, slap, slap. Fuck a hot single, I hear the shells in the bag from the clock jing. Right lane market, the SL1 one stop. Gain in, gain in. A nigga couldn't stop like a pop ring. <laughs> Music, I don't, it don't make no one go and do crimes, yeah? Um, if anything, I say that, it'll make, like when they hear them, I'll get calls and that, people saying, ah, oh, when are you doing the next CD? Can I get on the CD tell him you get me? So in a way, it kind of like inspires them to try and get on to my CDs. And so I suppose it gives them something to do. With it. Trust me, basically, the music that man's putting out in the mix CDs, everyone should know that it's not, we're not promoting violence for people to go out mm. there and, and create violence. I'm not where we, I want to get to, I'm not at the top yet, but we've come a long way from where we started, innit? Like, um, like gigs. We've come a long way from where just going to studio, just making music for fun, innit? Like, the time is doing now. Get me, like, from the music, other things will come as well. Like, there's a shop. Just before this, like, I was making music. I've done a couple of things that I'm not too, like, proud of and that. You get me? Like, I've like done a bunch of stuff, but now it's just trying to get focused. But before this, it was just like an unfocused array of just, like, this, that, and everything, innit? Like, whatever pays the bills, whatever gets it in your pocket, innit? Would you say SM Runway and working around all this environment has taken you away from the streets oh, and crime culture? Definitely. Like at the end of the day, like every day, every day you gotta wake up and you got things to you got things that you gotta take care of, innit? Everyone's got their hassles and their stresses, innit? Like this place kind of narrows things down. Music doesn't happen without determination, it doesn't happen unless you're on it. Like End of the day, if you're on it today and you're not on it tomorrow, you're not going to get anywhere. If you're going to be on it every single day, then sooner or later you're going to get somewhere. Just work hard, just do your thing, and you can get to where you want to get to, innit? Like, if music ain't your thing, education is your key, that's your way. I'm saying some people dance, some people have lyrics, some, it's all different ways of getting in the game. So, But if music ain't your way, then just get your education, stay at college, do your uni thing, and just... Don't let no one say you can't do it and you'll get there in the end. It's all positive, they're talking about positive music, how they all came together and they're not just promoting their music, they're promoting others as well. I think they can be idols for certain people if you want to promote them. So obviously they're not streetwise, they're business minded. If you looked at them and heard what they've got to say, they're very business wise. You yeah, I mean, they've got a good tool from the heart. And so what sort of music do you listen to? What's your sort of music? Um, Anything like rap, hip hop, R&B, all them. So what do you think of their music? Do you think it influences the younger kids to go out there and commit crimes and get themselves involved in things they shouldn't really be involved in? Um, sometimes, not, not all the time, but like, say if it's just like, not, not that like, on public music, like when they make their private music, they talk about whatever they want to talk about, their guns, everything, but when it comes out like to the public, everything, they want to show everyone else here, they talk about like sense, they, they put sense into you, like tell you not to do certain stuff. person from Fairbridge, a young charity. I was just wondering if we could 
do a couple of interviews today. Oh yeah, we're just outside right now. Okay, we're outside Universal Studios. We called them up, we have a few interviews and we're gonna go in there and see what their opinions are on rap music. We wanted to find out why urban music is so popular. Um, a few years ago, grime wasn't successful in the mainstream, but uh, I think, yeah, somehow correlates to how um, the whole nature of of how the youth are feeling, how how society is feeling, the kind of reaching out for other inspiration. It's all social commentary. I don't see why people would decide to complain about, oh, it's negative and whatnot. People just say and you know rap or sing about what they see in their day-to-day -day lives it's the fact it's just not reported on a big scale in the news it's like people like choose to just tuck it underneath the right they don't want to see it for what it is they don't want to stare right in the face in the mirror bop, bop. Shoot a nigga remix. 80s baby good looking for the beat family we are not saying rap music is perfect yeah it can have an effect on impressionable young people Right, my son is 15, yeah, and he listens to a lot of this UK rap and the kind of rap it is, it's not what I want him to be listening to and um, I have a fear of him falling into that lifestyle, yes. I find that a bit, but I still want to know who said that. Again. But it's a reason why it's so popular among young people. There's no pulling punches with Hollow's music, like it is what it is, like he just gives it to everybody straight kind of thing, innit? There is reason why they turn to the streets. Rap and grime music is new. The problems it talks about are not. It's been happening from a long time, innit? The way you hear rappers talking about like, what they're going through now, like guns and knives and that, that's, that, that's what's been happening for a long time, before we was rapping, before rap music came about. The, the bottom line is it's a family unit. Like Everybody that is in this movement has been together from, from little. And half of the ones that are together now like, you might as well say we were all at war when they were little. I think, I think there's a whole other set of things, which is notably poverty, uh, lack of employment, lack of career, lack of aspiration. But people don't want to know about the problems. And we prefer to find the easy explanations. We need more opportunities and more accessibility to them. Having these will give young people a way out of crime and a bright future. As people at the bottom class, I think, they need to be focused on just a little bit more just to tell them, okay, if this doesn't work out for you, you got this option. Like when I was in school, certain kids were never told that they were suspended straight away because they were talking too much. And some of them are like the greatest graphic designers I know right now. And some of them sing great and just do architecture great, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, some kids find their way and some kids turn to the streets, but it's up to schemes like this and like, volunteer teachers who can give them another option or people like us to go in schools and be like, okay, this is another option for you. If that can be pitched in, it's something that can work. Rap is just a vocalisation, an expression of young people's feelings and experiences. They use rap to tell their story. A story that needs to be listened to. This is our life. <laughs> yeah. They say what goes up must come down. <laughs> well, not in our case. Because right now we're up, but we're only going to go down in history. Yeah, that's hard, that's Mount for the state. 2008. Yeah, fuck, I love how you're raising my niece. It made me want to start a family, so I gave up the streets. To be real, I was pissed when I heard you quit your nine to five. You're grown now, you don't need to live a grinder's life. I know you hustle and you serve out the food, but I'm hoping that that path don't bring the worst out of you.